Hey, this is Hans from Request for Music with a new video on the FSIM bundle, and um, this time I'll be spending some attention to the pause module. Uh, the pause module comes in two flavors. It comes in the single uh, layout, single module layout, as the original from the Formant were. Uh, although pause was a module that was not in there, but uh, since I have the ADSR and that kind of stuff in single modules i've got that as well but uh, by request i changed the layout to have two of them in there um yeah to use less space in in your setup so i've actually done the same kind of thing for the pause module as well so it comes in those two flavors one for one uh, pause module and the water another one for for this um with a second pause module in there so you you can actually pause signals six signals at the same time and the pause it actually it is sort of a ring buffer uh, which means that you can delay a signal that is coming in and it goes through all of the time that you can set and the minimum time is zero and the maximum time is 10 seconds and so what is does it do and I'll take my uh, percussion module um, the latest addition to it to to let you hear what it does so I'll take a percussion sound um, and obviously a percussion needs a gate to go into one of the three that are in there and then I can take the output there and I'll um, first of all I'll maybe just let you listen to the original and I'll uh, drive this up a bit and make it shorter and so I use my attack decay and something like this so nothing fancy just a percussive sound and um, I'll take my panner to let you listen to the differences that come out. So let's take it straight into the panner, which allows me to pan the signal over stereo output. So I'll take the first one out, put it a bit to, uh, to the left. So I've got the original there. And I'll take a, a copy of that signal into my pause and drive that to the second input. and. Uh, put it a bit to the right. I've got this to zero at the moment and I've got my uh, my level set to one because what you have in there is um, the delay amount which is actually a delay of one frame to, to have the least and you will never notice that because it's running at 48,000 uh, samples 40, uh, 48k per second so it takes 48,000 samples and it's just delayed by one sample so you won't be able to hear that difference really um so i've got it like this i've got the setup and so you hear that it's it's actually doubling it's it's there's no delay in there as long as i don't change it so if i take this up and um it's because sometimes you just need very short delays i've changed the way that the uh, potentiometer works so uh, I have to dial it up a bit further to really get greater effects, as you can hear. So now I've got it at, at set at uh, 0, 0,29. Uh, so that's 29 millis... Uh, yeah, 290 milliseconds, I think it is. And uh, I can set it to, uh, say, for instance, one second. So if I put it like this... And I can set it up to 10 seconds. And the uh, normal default is 5 seconds. So so you hear that it really comes out delayed. And um, let's take it back a bit. And I can actually uh, use my out to uh, to give it... It's, it's going from 0 in the center to plus 5 and mon minus 5 and that means that you can actually amplify the signal if you want it or just lower it so now it will be amplified as you can tell so uh, let's do it like this you hear that it comes back after a short while and um, now I'm doing it straight with the input signal uh, but I actually could also have taken this to drive the gate or drive this full instrument with this so 
uh, if I now take my output not to go straight into the panel I could actually delay it this way take the output and drive the percussion by pressing so I press a key now and now you hear that it's delayed then if I uh, take for instance that same gate signal and put it in the next one and take this out and put it into the next uh, percussive instrument there so that would be sort of a snarish kind of thing and I'll delay this as well delay it a bit longer than that one you hear that with one press on the key which I do now I get actually those two sounds so it's easy for that but um, okay that's just percussion but what if I did this with a keyboard so I'm, uh, I'm taking a pitch out now and I'll um, use my filter and the VC uh, v sorry an AC ADSR to uh, make sure that the sound doesn't go on forever I'll take my ADSR out of um, taking these out of the equation I'll take the ADSR from the gate from the source and I'll put this into my filter take my output of the VCO into my um, filter itself and I'll take the external because I need to drive the VCO from the pitch so I'm going into this um, first of all let's put it in straight away and I'll take this back so I can now drive a melody from my uh, ADSR and uh, so let's put it a bit more to the center and it's just a sine wave now so not much to filter so let's give it a, a, a sawtooth something like this and uh, maybe give it some key and, uh, or put it on something like this and I think it's, it's quite soft actually I see so take the outputs off so something like this and um, I could actually take the output out and into the pause from the filter and drive that into this and uh, maybe do this after two seconds or so and uh, take the volume down a bit so I can use this sort of a controlled delay so but since the um, signal comes out like this I could also instead of going straight into um, into the pause with the filtered sound I could also take the original sound in there and drive that through a second filter then obviously I need to delay my ADSR as well so let's take the same oscillus oscillator uh, that I use now but I'll uh, make sure that I copy both of these and put it in front of uh, oops where am I I'm messing it up now aren't I so I'll place this next to that one and I'll have these both and um, I'll put my pause in there because the pause is going to drive this one um, so I'm taking my pause now not from the uh, filter anymore but I'm going to take it from the pitch the signal that, that I had there um, and it was now taking the original os uh, oscillator signal straight into the panner so that was not too uh, convenient uh, I'll take this into my input for the filter and take the filter output there and I'm going to uh, also have to delay my gate for this uh, because otherwise my uh, my gate is not going to function properly so I'll take that in there as well go into the envelope signal and um, yeah let's set this up differently in um, maybe something like this a longer kind of attack the case sustain release this one was set to two seconds so let's set this up to two seconds as well 
So now the second one is a different version actually. It uses the same pitch from the VCO, it uses the same oscillator, uh, it uses the same waveform, but indeed it changed that. So So I can do that kind of stuff there and uh, maybe use this in a in a completely different setting and maybe even take just this output into a delay for instance or a reverb to have that sound different. So yeah, let's let's do that. I'll, I'll take all of these a bit to the side. I'll take the um, delay from here and I'll put that in front of the panner and uh, I'll put it through reverb as well. So I'm going to take the uh, the output that I had in here, I'm going to take that into the delay. Actually delay only needs one input and it even creates stereo delay then. Um, and so I can take that, oops, take that stereo into the reverb and take reverb maybe put it into these two signals because I can still obviously pan this so I pan the one to the left and the one to the right I need to switch them on so I set something like this delay maybe a bit more less strong than it was so now I've got something like this with um, a long reverb and maybe filter it less and uh, give it even more noticeable delay on this so a bit stronger that way so as you can hear and it's it's a completely separate line now uh, and what I normally might do if, if I wanted this to be more noticeable for myself I could actually just click all of those modules and uh, that are connected in a separate way put those on a separate line align this to be auto left and align this to be auto left so this is my first line which is going into the first one there so and the next one uh, line is coming out of the uh, at the bottom set of and obviously if I wanted a completely different oscillator as well I could have just picked the next oscillator there and put that into uh, the pause module so there's a whole lot of different stuff that you can use this for this this kind of setup with a pause and actually if I wanted more delay even I could daisy chain those up if I wanted to so if I pff, uh, I don't know maybe just wanted an extra um, boost in the uh, VCF at some point I could actually maybe take the let's see where was the out the ADSR going um, ADSR was going to my second one so if I take this output here and I'll um, I'll take it to the input of the of the next one so this is already two seconds delayed and maybe I delay it here for five seconds more and I take this into um, uh, well let's let's just take a next ADSR for that so I'll copy this ADSR again and take that last one out here and maybe take a very long and high one and not go to the envelope but go to the timbre modulation instead so let's see I have no idea how it would sound that's my original there's my double and now after a while it will actually take just the filter and drive the filter from this one so if I take a longer uh, set of notes that I'm going to play it will at some time then go in between by using that gate so
So indeed, there's a lot that you can do that way. And um, as you can tell, you can use it for control voltages or for sounds. Um, you could probably also use it for uh, maybe a bend signal that you want to take out. So you've got a delayed bend or whatever, or delayed um, mod wheel setting that you, you might want to use. Um, yeah, so a lot of settings that you can use uh, the pass for so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoy it when you're uh, working with the set and um, I'll see you back in an, in the next one so um, cheers and to another one cheers bye bye